Hey everyone, George Gill here from Gill Media. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to track using Google Analytics files or PDFs or, or templates that you're putting on your site that you're, you're giving away as content uh, on your site. Now there's a couple of reasons why we want to track it. First of all, it takes a lot of effort to create that content, doesn't it? I mean, we're trying to put our best stuff forward and whether you're giving it away for free or whether you're charging for it, obviously if you're putting this effort into creating the content, you want to make sure that it's being consumed and absorbed. Now the second reason, and what I think is more even more important, is for a lot of companies, they give away this free content to actually start the relationship building with their potential prospects. So they want them to consume that, whether it be for a purpose of educating them, so getting them more knowledge into them about their products or services or what they should be looking at, and or, which is often the case in, in conjunction with, building that relationship, starting that conversation going on back and forth. So it's really, really critical. Now, what I find is most companies just assume that I've filled out the form, that I'm going to download the content. And that's often not the case. However, that brings us to number two point that we're going to cover, and that is how to improve the results. Once I start tracking it, once I start knowing what percentage of the people that fill out the form actually consume the information, then I can start tweaking certain areas, there's certain strategies that I can implement that can improve that, that conversion number or that, that a quantity of people that fill out the form and actually consume the information. So let's head over to the desktop and take a look at how we do this and then how do we improve the results. Okay, so here we are on a Google Analytics site that we have that we teach and, and give away free information on our Google Analytics and, and help train people to be better on Google Analytics. So the, this is our squeeze page here that we want to capture the, the person's email and name for them to sign up for this free uh, marketing blueprint report that we put together which is absolutely fantastic information and of course our goal is to start to nurture a relationship with a potential interested prospect. Okay, so when they fill out their name and email, what's going to happen is you're going to end up on a landing page. So when we fill out this form, that's only one part of the, the whole cycle. And of course, Google Analytics can track this page and can track the, the form whenever I complete this form. It can also track that I landed on the confirmation page. Now, here's the first, the first key component. Well, actually, even before I get into that, let, let's talk about how the code is added because I, I promised I'd show you that. So I'm going to jump over to our AWeber account here and use an example of an email. And this is one of the follow-up emails that the client would receive after they've completed this form and confirmed their email address. So what you want to do, whether it's an email or whether it's your website, you need to go into the HTML code of the of the of the uh, content, again, whether it be email or your website. I'm going to drag up a, a notepad here. This is the code right here that we need to add to the link, okay, to the file or to the PDF or to whatever it is that we're giving away as far as information that the person would click to get that information. So here's the link www.example.com slash file slash map.pdf. But what we want to do is we want to add this section right here. And I'm going to paste the code. First I'm going to copy it, but I'll paste it below this video as well so you have direct access to it. And then I want to go to wherever the links are in the emails. So, or on the website. So here's the first one. Nope, that's not the one. That's actually to our Facebook page. There it is. So there it is to the PDF, the online marketing blueprint. And what we want to do is we want to go to the end of the link. And just before the end, we want to paste in that code that we just copied down, right? And it's just the one link on this particular one. So I'm going to preview it. I'm going to test it to make sure that it's working. And it looks like it's working. It's loading up right now. 
Yep, all is good. So the report loaded. A okay, the link's okay. I'm gonna save that message. And that's all I have to do is put that that code on the end of any of the links that I've I have, either on my website or on uh, or on the email. Okay, so now what's happening is when I fill out this form, I'm gonna land on this page here which is my confirmation page and this is the first opportunity for me to improve on the the consuming of the information that I'm trying to give away so this is my first opportunity to say okay hey you requested this you got to do one more thing you need to confirm your email address before we'll send you the report so we we tell them very clearly what to expect and what they need to do and if there's any challenges by all means email us so we're going to explain that this happens and it's going to be clear in their face now the next opportunity is the actual opt-in email so I'll hop over to my email here and when you fill out that form you're going to get an email that says hey you have to confirm your email address just to make sure that you're you're a real person and not a spammer so at that stage what we're looking at here is another opportunity to really be clear about our message our subject line is very clear hey you asked for the insider report you need to confirm it and our message thanks for requesting the report but before we send the, the information out to you we need to make sure that we have your permission so please click this link and that's the second opportunity chances of you getting follow through at this stage the more clear you are in your subject line and your message uh, the better chances you'll have of people following through and actually reading your content now the subject line I find is really important because I may not check my email right away I may have filled out that form and then you know got called for dinner and don't check my email for several more hours or the next day and I don't even remember requesting it at that stage so I really want to be clear in that message okay so just like everything else you want to measure everything you're doing online it's the only way you can improve your results don't assume just because you're giving away free information that people are actually consuming it measure it and then you can fine-tune these two messages the confirmation page to check your email as well as the email itself to ensure you get a higher readership a higher consumption rate of that information that you're trying to get out there. Hope that helps. My name is George Gill from Gill Media, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Now, if you'd like to have more great tips like these, we've prepared a very special ebook just for you. We cover how to get better marketing results in five easy steps. Simply go to www businessonlinemarketingcourses.com and sign up for this free ebook. Plus, get access to a series of free exclusive tips to help you succeed with your marketing efforts, grow your business, increase sales, reduce marketing costs, and make better marketing decisions. Go to www.businessonlinemarketingcourses.com and subscribe.